What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the accessories that I've bought for my electric XP bike. Let's do this. All right, so in this video, like I said, I'm going to talk to you guys about the accessories that I've purchased for my bike. I want to be clear and tell you guys that when you order your e-bike, whether it's electric XP bike or any e-bike, I recommend you wait for the bike to get there. Don't buy anything ahead. Test the bike out, see what you're actually going to need because you don't want to spend any, any unnecessary so, money. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to start off with the helmets that I got. I have the Burn Macon and uh, this, is used, this has the MIPS system and I also got a second helmet for my second bike uh, for the second rider. It's a 888 NYC model. Burn. This one was about 65 this one was about 50 bucks. This is just what I personally bought. Make sure you buy something that's comfortable, safe and that you like, obviously. Okay guys, let's take a quick tour around the bike. Let me show you some of the accessories that I got. I'm gonna start off here with the Rock Bros uh, bike bag. It goes onto your bike frame and you can put your phone in here. I have an iPhone XS Max. It works with the iPhone 10s, 11s, Samsungs, all uh, six and a half inch uh, smartphones. And the screen is very, very sensitive. I've, I've had no issues. You can see there the phone turned on and you just put that in there like that. You want to put your phone in there. I keep my gloves in here, my pocket knife, my tool kit. Anything I need to carry that's small, I'll just throw in here. It does bring this for uh, protecting the uh, case if it's raining. The case itself is waterproof, or not waterproof, water resistant. But uh, this is a very handy uh, thing to have. For this particular bike, bike model, uh, I did have to buy some extra Velcro to make it go around the frame of the bike, simply because this is a big frame. I did buy these gloves, which have come in really handy. And these are the uh, More OK gloves. They come in different colors. They have the gel padding right here. I just want to show you how these gloves fit. They fit really well. This is a, a size large. Again, this is the More OK bike gloves. And they have this nice gel padding here, which helps a whole bunch when you're riding. My hands were, were actually, my hands <laughs> were actually getting numb when, when I was riding the uh, bike. And this has reduced that actually uh, quite a bit, to be honest with you. And I believe it has to do with the padding, the way my hands sit. Very inexpensive, 16 bucks. And they bring these little loops here to pull your, your gloves, to help you pull these gloves out um, like that. So you just pull there like that to take them off. Must have, in my opinion, is this a toolkit. I bought this 16-in-1 toolkit. It's the Woto 16-in-1 uh, toolkit. This thing is pretty dope. It brings six bike patches if you need that. You got them in your bag right there to come across the flat. This is a stem valve tool remover, which I got separately. I'll link this down below for you guys to check out as well. Nice little kit to have. It uh, doesn't come with this one, but uh, I, I carry it in, in this tool kit. It even includes these pry, uh, pry bars to help you remove the uh, tires off. And here's the actual tool kit. When you open this up right here, you, you have your sockets different socket sizes, 15 millimeter, 10 millimeter, eight millimeter. And then you have your Allen wrenches in different sizes here. You got six, five millimeter, four millimeter, and so on. So uh, very convenient tool to carry. Totally recommend this one. It's a uh, good quality as well. Very, very solid, well, well made. Next up is probably my most favorite accessory that I've invested in. And this is the uh, clear on Bluetooth speaker. This thing is loud. The Bluetooth works great. Uh, when I'm on a phone call and riding the bike on speakerphone, everything sounds crystal clear. It does have the FM radio mode as well. Uh, up here, it includes a small controller that you can attach to your handlebar. It even has a horn, which you can change to the, uh, like the, uh, the bell. The bell sounds really loud. And right have, here, you have a mic. So when you're on the phone, phone they can hear you, but you can fast forward, stop, or answer your calls right here while you're riding. Very very nice. Uh, next up over here we have the GoPro bike mount and uh, this is where I put my GoPro when I do my some of my past videos. This is the angle that I like to put my GoPro on right there. All right next up I invested in the uh, light, an extra light for the bike. The light that comes with the bike is it's just hor horrific. It's terrible. So this is one of those things that I really think you should invest in. This is the Asher uh, bike light. It includes this light, plus a tail light, which I'll show you in just a moment. And the cool thing about this is this snaps off and you can use this as a flashlight as well. But uh, it has four modes, by the way. So it has a bright mode, it has a dimmer mode, it has the flashing mode, and it has that intermittent mode. 
so I really like this light. It's really nice and bright in the, uh, at night when I've used it before. Let me show you guys the one in the back here. Here's the uh, backlight and it has the same modes as well. You just press that button there. They are rechargeable. Uh, you charge them with a USB uh, cable and uh, they do last about five hours, I believe. I haven't had to recharge them yet, but they work great. And this is just an additional light because the ones that the bike brings aren't that great. Next up here, I bought the iPow Comfort Seat, I believe is the name of it. Um, by the way, I'm gonna list everything so you guys can check them out down below on uh, Amazon affiliate links for you guys to check out. But this seat is very nice and cushy right here, very comfortable. You got this uh, hole right here for a vent and it works great. I haven't had any issues. You got this nice reflector back here. The only thing is on the bottom, it doesn't bring those metal springs. These are like those plastic rubber springs, but I haven't had any issue and it's really, really comfortable, way better than the uh, stock seat. So this is something you may want to consider. Kind of wait to see if you, uh, you know, are okay with the stock seat before you buy one. But uh, I do recommend you get that and the seat post. I have the Satori seat post here. This one is the L2, no, this is the Harmony L2, LT2 Satori suspension seat post. And this makes a world of a difference. I really like uh, how this works. This is a 31.6. The stock one is 31.8 millimeters, but all you have to do is just adjust it down here, right here, just kind of tight, tighten it a little bit more. And I haven't had any issues. It doesn't slip or anything. It works great as well. This one is 350 millimeters long. And for my height, I haven't had any issues. So just make sure that you buy one that's long enough. And that's all going to depend on your height, obviously, and how much you need to raise the seat. But uh, these have been a, a good investment for sure. Next up is the free wheel. Now this is completely uh, a personal choice. I decided to upgrade it to the 11 to 20 free wheel size. I made a whole video on how I did it. I'll link it up so you guys can check it out. But uh, for me, it makes a huge difference riding this bike, especially when I'm in seventh gear. So that's one of the things I did here was the first things that I did was upgrade my free wheel and then also get some sort of air pressure tire pressure gauge i have this one i think i picked up at autozone a while ago i keep it in my bag there uh just so you can always make sure you got the right enough pressure in your tires and get yourself a replacement tube this is the mongoose fat tire tube i got this one on amazon as well this has the schrader valve uh, stem and uh, i haven't thank god i haven't uh, had to use this I also bought some slime, which I also made a video if you want to watch that. I did put the slime in my tires to help prevent those flats, so I did that as well. I, this is just an old bike pump that I have, a Bell air pump that I have. I'm in the market for one of those electric or compressor types that I can put in back here and carry with me when I go like on long rides and the trails. I want to get one of those, but the one I'm, I want to get was out of stock. so. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check it out as well. Or if you have one that you may want to recommend for me, please let me know. I got this multi-purpose uh, sprayer and this is strictly for water only. I use this to just clean out my, my, my wheels and sometimes the body over here. So if I want to spray this here, I can just, I don't have to use a hose where it's a lot, of more, lot more pressure and I can cause some damage with water to it. Um, I also have a little brush for it so I can just kind of you know, get in there and, and, and just wet the, the, the wheel and kind of clean out my tires when I go off-roading or whatever. So that's just something that I like to have for my bikes. I like to keep them clean or as clean as possible. And if you notice, I did black out the electric uh, sign over here or the, the branding. I decided to go with these uh, Cricut Premium Vinyls. This is a black glossy one, which matched perfect with the black, black bike. I also got the white one for my white bike but the, the white is a tad bit off. So just keep that in mind if you decide to go with these. I got them on Amazon, they're about eight bucks each and uh, they work well. I just, it's nothing against the brand. It's just that it screams electric bike. And so I kind of like, just like it this way better. As you can see, I still kept the other lines on there. I didn't black those out. And uh, you can see the logo on the very front of the bike. Nothing about the brand. I, I love the brand so far. The bike's been great. So there you have it, guys. That's all the stuff that I've bought for my bike so far. I'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out. There are affiliate links. Uh, and all, again, I just want to uh, reiterate, this is all personal preference. You don't have to buy none of this stuff. It's just the way I like to ride and what I find very convenient and useful on my rides. I'm actually in the market for some pedals. I don't like the pedals that come with the bike. My feet slip off all the time. 
I just haven't been able to find some foldable ones that I think are uh, good enough for me to you know, purchase. Uh, if you have any recommendations for those pedals, let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions about anything here, uh, let me know as well. Make sure you check out all my other electric XP bike videos. I'll put them up here. Take care, be safe.